lawmakers summoned the country's top public health officials for what turned into a heated hearing on the White House's handling of coronavirus. This administration was not prepared for this crisis, and it put lives at risk, American lives at risk. The president on March 6th told the people in my district publicly that the tests were ready. Anybody who wants a test can go be tested. So my constituents went to their local health centers, went to their hospitals. There were no tests. Zero. Anybody that needs a test can have a test. Despite assurances from the president, the U.S. has struggled to develop and roll out widespread testing, and there's no clear explanation why, when other countries, including South Korea, are testing 10,000 people a day. There is added frustration in Seattle after the New York Times reported officials there wanted to ramp up testing more than a month ago, but couldn't get regulatory approval. It delayed actually quarantining people or keeping people contained, and it enabled some of the spread that happened in the city of Seattle. It makes me feel scared, actually, um, that the response is so disorderly. Robin Shulman started showing symptoms after returning home to New York City from a trip to Toronto where she may have been exposed. But her local hospital refused to test her, and doctors gave her contradictory advice about whether she needed to self-isolate. Turns out she doesn't have coronavirus, but only got a test after she told health officials she was going public with her story. It just seems that there's a level of chaos and disorder in the system that is not prepared to deal with mass numbers of very sick patients. Up to 4 million test kits are supposed to be available by the end of the week, but there's no information on where they're going, who can access them, and how quickly more tests will be produced. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.